status. I know. Right then, once again, welcome folks, welcome to an another video. Yeah, welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a retake actually. What we're going to retake is the Tampa Monkey installation which enables you to convert, well, the clip converter installation rather, which enables you to convert YouTube videos so I shall cut the video and we will continue on. Alright then, so before we go on to the tutorial, we'll explain a few things first. Now, some people may know that Clip Converter is a website that enables you to convert YouTube videos into different formats such as mp4 or mp3 and download them on to your computer just excuse us when I shut this window a minute right sorry about that um, just shut the window because of that all right then so as we were saying the clip converter website enables you to convert YouTube videos into MP4 or MP3 format so you can download them on to your computer to watch offline. Now while you can do it from the Clip Converter website, Clip Converter also offer an extension that you can install so you don't have to go to the website and copy and paste the YouTube link URL. It's basically like a video's postcode if you if you like. So you don't have to copy and paste that into the website, then choose your file formatting and all that. The extension takes all the hassle out of it. Uh, so today we're going to show you how to install um, that extension. Now, if you are a Chromebook user or Chrome user, when people think of installing the extension, then immediately think of going to the web store. But, well, they're part, they'll be partly right there because we need to install an extension to so the clip converter extension can run if if that kind of makes sense so that's what we're going to do now uh. no it's um i'm going in i'm on sorry so i'm in the web store now and one of the extensions we're going to search for is an extension called Tampa Monkey. Why it's called that, I'm not too sure, because it is what called a script manager. So if I could as well give it a sensible name like script manager rather than Tampa Monkey, I think it's uh, the name is not going to be obvious to people. It's not going to be obvious that it's a script manager. It's probably going to be like a game or something. But, oh well. We're going to need to install that first of all. So I'm on the extension and I'm going to add it to my Chrome. Right, now, if you are Chrome Vox users, you may have to set up keyboard shortcuts for the extension to perform different options if you do decide to run scripts. So after we've installed the Tampa Monkey, we're going to go to the extension section. By pressing Alt F and under the more tools section as a sub menu in that sub menu you would find 
extensions. I'm going to click on that. Now, we're going to need to go to the keyboard shortcut section rather than browsing for the list of extensions themselves. Okay, so now we're going to have to set up keyboard shortcuts to open the Tampa Monkey script manager as well as perform other options should we choose to or have to. Now when setting the keyboard shortcuts you will have to be careful not to replace a common shortcut with the extension shortcut such as Control T. Tampa Monkey of course begins with a T and people may choose to use Control T not knowing of course that that command is used to open a new tab so you're going to need to be careful and you're also going to need to think to yourself what commands you commonly use and what commands you don't commonly use and if so um, yeah that's what you're going to need to think of Now, I have already set keyboard shortcuts for the Tampa Monkey extension as well as its other options. And I don't know if the Nimbus recorder or the screen recorder app has um, picked those up. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to go through them in case I need to set any more shortcuts. So I guess bear with me a minute. All right, so as you probably heard or saw that the control F and control S in theory are common commands, but I hardly use them at all. So if you hardly use them and you want to make use of them in other apps or extensions, then go ahead. However, once you've set a keyboard shortcut, don't be, don't get all excited and close the tab because what you're doing now is you are setting the control W as a keyboard shortcut when actually it should in theory close the tab. So what you need to do is once you set the shortcut, tab to OK and then enter it of course, then once you're in the address bar, then do control W to close the tab. Right, so that's part one of installing the Tampa Monkey service. And the next part, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to, in this case, we're going to use Clip Converter. You might choose to use Telecharger Video, like we did in the other tutorial, but that proved to be problematic because the extension didn't do as it was supposed to do. So I have tried the clip converter extension before and it has worked for me for myself. So that's no problem at all. Right, so open a new tab and then we're gonna to want to type clip converter. .cc and on the clip on the clip converter website yes bear with me a minute you go to browser add-on Um, add-ons or extensions you can use with the browser such as they do a Firefox add-on or in this case we're using the Chromebook of course or Cloud Ready so we're going to want the Chrome add-on <laughs> 
Firefox slash Chrome slash the faster and power add-on is the third term prison difference. The add-on for the browser that I want to install. So it will tell you these steps to install this, and one of these steps is to install the Tampa Monkey, but we've already done that. So we don't need to worry about that. Now we're going to want to click on this button, which is download clip converter.user.js. And we get the install button. Now, in the other tutorial that I did, of installing telecharger video is if you don't see a pop-up telling you that the clip converter or the telecharger website extension has been installed don't worry about that because it's installed on the Tampa monkey and not on the Chrome browser itself so and that is basically how you install the Clip Converter extension on the Chromebook. Now, what we're going to do on this tutorial is we're going to show you how it works. So, because it's YouTube, because it only converts YouTube videos and not videos from other sites such as Daily Motion, we're going to want to, of course, bring up a YouTube video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video and once I've found the video that we're going to convert I will start another video and we'll continue on with the tutorial. So I shall see you in a bit. Right then so we have got a YouTube video up and it's a video on how to start a Piper Arrow aircraft. Now, some people might not expect the clip convert icon to appear, they'll probably think they'll have to open the extension and do it that way, but you might be able to see the clip convert icon. And it is right next to the name of the channel who have uploaded this video. Now, people who can, well, sighted people might not think anything about it, but for screen reader users like myself, you probably expect the clip convert to be near the video controls. So the fact that it's right next to the channel name, which is which are way, which is away from the video controls, may may cause some confusion. Now, unfortunately, I have to cut the video again because my battery is running out. But once I've plugged it in, then we will show you how to how it's done. So I shall be back in a bit. All right. So. Uh, We are we are back now and I've just clicked the clip convert icon. Now for me you could as well have gone to the clip converting website because when you actually clip when you are actually transferred to the website it appears as if you've already copied and pasted the link and have pressed the start button because if you've used clip converter before what would appear immediately is an edit box where you can rename the video if you solely wish and a few other options as well so to me the extension is partly pointless to be honest 
but again you can there's nothing wrong in you using the extension it's just my opinion on it and it still opens in a new tab which increases your Chromebooks multitasking load so but again that is basically how you install and use the clip converter extension for Chrome tutorial thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and documents to come and I shall see you soon